Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead. It's Friday afternoon. Haven't got a lot done with the projects. Um, kind of spent the day working on the loader, but we did get our pallets laid out. I'm getting ready to set the last po post for the woodshed. These two bays are completely done, but we spent time on the loader. They had uh, the outer bushing for the drive motor had gone out this winter and we just been limping it along but so that's that piece there right there so I had to take all that apart and get it all set up and so that got done that took most of the day so now we're gonna get on to doing the woodshed I'll I probably won't record much of it because you know it's the same thing that we've been recording but I'll kind of get some video once it's done and then if we do it once once the um, one by threes are on then I'll look at maybe doing video of the roof and what we do there just to kind of get an idea how we're planning to do it. I, I'll be honest, it's just winging it in my head. I don't have a, I kind of have a set plan, but as far as what the elevations and the heights of the, the back of the ceiling, the back roof is going to be in the front roof, it's really all going to depend on where things end up as far as our posts go. And as you can see, those posts, that's about the top, you know, that'll be about the top of the back. But we have all that post to cut off plus those are even higher so i'm guessing the front will be probably about eight feet you know maybe maybe i might go a little bit more nine feet and slope down just so there's a nice slope on it so it does so when snow does tend to will hopefully slough off a little bit but yeah so that'll be that and this will become our driveway will then come into these rocks into here I'll be on this side of those birch trees so kind of where you see the green coming up over there on the other side of the brush and then it'll come basically right along here and go back that way it'll kind of come at an angle come back and I mean it, it, this tree won't be here so and I think I mentioned that before but we got to clean up all this stuff and get it ready to go so that'll probably be now that we got the loaders drive motor bushing fixed that outer bushing will be working on this stuff next. And now that we have a woodshed to go, and oh yeah, we uh, I needed to get some room for wood down by the, so the whole back course is pretty much almost to where it's gonna be. I didn't wanna put it all the way up to the ceiling until I know where my boards are gonna fall. And once those are in place, then we'll get that done. So yeah, we started filling that up. So it feels good to actually have a home for our firewood. So I'll update you once uh, once I get a little bit farther with this. Once I get done with that, I'll kind of change and maybe start recording. I'm probably not going to get, because it's already going on 6 o'clock in the evening, I probably won't get much more done than the, than the 1x3s today. So I'll get this stall completed. Um, and then after that, I'll I'll uh, probably call it a night because the bugs or mosquitoes are going to get really bad. So that's where we're at, guys. I'll update you when we're done. Good well, morning, everyone. I didn't uh, didn't take any video last night because by the time I finished, actually the mosquitoes chased me out last night. They got so bad that I just said, "Heck with it, I'm going." To... <laughs> oh, they were eating me alive, even with bug spray on. So I got the third stall up and squared up, and I got to put a few boards yet that I'm missing on the back wall. Otherwise, it's pretty much ready to go. Um, kind of just waiting to do the rest here until I get the back. And then I'll kind of finish up the sides because they'll go, they'll slope up a little bit, especially on the outside. As the slope goes up, I'm going to put more one by threes. I'll just have to put some additional bracing in. But that's kind of the plan for today is to get this finished up. And then we'll cut the back wall or back post down to the right height. And then we'll work on the front, and then we'll start framing the roof. So that's hopefully, uh, if all goes well, we'll have a good portion of the front done, or the roof done, um, or at least set up to do. I shouldn't say done. Um, I'm going to have to still mill some. We're going to do three by three um, from the front to the back, and then we'll do a two by four stringers for to attach the steel to once we get that to that point. So. But that's kind of where things are at. I will, I'm going to finish this stuff and then I'll try to get some 
the wind's calm enough that I'll try to get some recording of uh, doing the rest of the stuff. So more to follow. And I didn't film it because I was just kind of going along, but you can see I got the top board on. It's a two by six, true dimensional two by six that goes all the way across. It's seamed at the post, but that's going to be the back of the supports for the roof. And for the roof, I'll show you when I get those done. I got to mill those yet. Those are going to be basically three foot by, or three inch by three inch true dimensional lumber. And I'll put those every two feet. And then I'll actually put two by fours uh, stringers on top to, that were sort of steel. But I just wanted to give an update on that. And I'm going to start working on the other side over there. But the wind's picked up a little bit, so I don't want to be trying to have the camera. I want to have my camera on me or my phone on me. So. Uh, I apologize I didn't get a chance to uh, get a camera out and record this. But back wall is done, top front is done and cross braced. As you can see, we're going to next and will be, I got to mill some three by three posts that are going to basically go from the front to the back. So that'll be the next piece of the puzzle. And then we'll put stringers on top of that. So. She's ready to load up. I can do the roof without having to be in the middle of it. I, I have some one by threes that I have to still put in to kind of fill in some of the gaps, but for the most part, it's pretty much right where it needs to be. But I'm real happy with how things turned out. And we used everything from our sawmill. We didn't buy a single piece of lumber. The only thing we bought was our, uh, well, basically two things of screws to put it all through, screw it all together. So I'm real happy with the with the progress so far. So, but we'll keep going, plugging away. I don't know if I'm gonna have to do more of the sawmill today or what my plan is for today, rest of the day. Um, other than eating a late lunch, I think. But I'll keep you updated as we go more through the day if we do anything else. But we're making progress. Hi right, guys, it's Monday night, um, actually Monday, late afternoon, early evening, I think, I don't even know what time it is, to be honest. But uh, got my 3x3 three three beams that are going to go on the roof up here, and some more 1x3s, they're just odd dimensions, they're going to be more for just finishing up that inside, but yeah, so i will start working on that now, um, see how much I get done tonight, if I, I got to mark everything off and get it all squared up, but that's the plan, so I'll keep you guys posted. Now, this is my last video for tonight and for this probably for this video but as you can see we got the side done here at least the outside edge i got to do the inside of that bay but got all the three by threes up on the roof back up a little bit but uh, yeah so they and i started to put my stringers up i'll probably i'll have to mill some more of these but that's okay it's a good start. I'll be able to get probably three rows, maybe four. Um, and so I'm going to need, I think it's five rows, if I remember right, with the mass. So, 
but yeah that should really strengthen it up and steel so we should be good I'm really happy with how things turned out so but oops mosquitoes are getting me sorry about that but that's gonna be it for this for this video for this week so appreciate it as always guys thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks again and appreciate all the support